Hey everyone, this is Shag, once again, showing you another custom stage that I made. Two in one day? Yes. This stage is called the Trash Landfill because... Not because I wanted to be doubly obvious about what it is, but rather be because... It is based around the ideas I had for a stage for the Robot Master Trash Man, who would appear in my game, Tammy, if it were ever to be made. Lots of destroyable blocks is one of the main themes of this stage. I assume the spines would give you trouble if you couldn't destroy them, but I don't know. Trash Man stage would have several different enemy types in Tammy. It would have an enemy who hides in a trash can and occasionally lobs shots at you, represented here later in the stage by cannons. It would have traditional met type enemies. It would have guys who throw stuff at you. And it would have shoots a la Sparkman from Mega Man 3, which drop junk on you. The reason that this is a fire block is because in Tammy, Solar Man's weapon, the Solar Nova, was to be the unlock doors block. At least in the current planning stages it was. For those who don't know, that was a cactus spy, a new enemy in Mega Man and or Mega Man powered up. It's an oil man stage. It's here for no real reason. Ow. The destroyable blocks here are mostly so that if you manage to die and come back at this checkpoint, the enemies that are over here, that is that cactus spy that I just killed, don't immediately shoot you. I found out that the hard way. Tellies! Yes, they're, they're always there. Yeah. Time Man is pretty well suited for this stage, even though he can't access the block. Ah. Here's the cannon that I mentioned. It's worth noting that the shield cannon, I don't think it actually appears in single player, like regular stages at all. Maybe it did and I just forgot. The earlier section of Trash Man stage in Tammy would have been like a sewer sort of place, and instead of spikes or spines, it would have had deadly sewage, which is basically just lava, in disguise. That part would have been outdoors, and this part is once again going into a indoor setting, sort of. Yeah, extra life. By the way, the one-up curse, I believe, was a term coined by Roam. Look at his videos, do it now. Basically, in his perfect runs, he found that he had a tendency to get hit and thus fail the perfect run immediately after collecting 1-ups, thus it was cursed. It's best to be patient over here and destroy the bat before progressing because that'll immediately spawn another block. These are the things that I used in place of shoots. Yes, yes, Time Man. We know you're good at your clock puns, but seriously. So, Time Slow is very useful there. The best course of action here, well, not when time is screwed up, is just to keep moving. Perfect timing. And then you have to wait. Have a hand! Ho ho ho, I'm so clever, said Trap, you're a time man. Rawr. Crash Man himself and Tammy would have used a weapon called the Enemy Recycler, which basically just sucks up enemies and spits them back out, like Kirby does. I believe it would have been good against Vegas Man? I don't remember quite the weapon order I had decided on. Trash Man himself was weak against Origami Man's weapon, the Crane Wave, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure if you can actually get that. Maybe I should rethink this stage a bit. 
And here we have good old Gutsman standing in for Trashman because he's big and bulky. Trashman was a lot like Hardman in terms of appearance, except as a trash can. Look how pathetically weak Gutsman is to the time slow. And the amount of time it takes him to get back up is a little bit... Well, it gives you enough time to charge it up again. As I continue to make stages like this, I'll use the opportunity to show off different characters. Gutsman says he has the guts, but I don't believe him this time. And there you go. PSP will die any second now. I bet it will. Come on, PSP, don't disappoint me. Or do disappoint me. Don't really care. That That's not dead. There we go. Now, you might ask... You might ask indeed, what was in that path with the fire block? Well, let us and Fireman find out together. Fireman is basically my favorite character in this game thus far, because he screams in a... Let's see... He sounds a lot like... Yosemite Sam. How did I forget Yosemite Sam? He also shouts everything about justice and fire all the time. Every boss fight dialogue is hilarious. I particularly enjoy his boss dialogue with Gutsman, where he just yells, YOU'RE FIRED! And Gutsman doesn't like it very much. But anyways, as I said, fire blocks represent Solar Man's power, which would be the Solar Nova. In Tammy, these secret weapon passages would generally lead to some sort of item, and once you collect all of these items, you would be able to access the ninth robot master, Devil Woman, who would give you the ultimate trident. Now this is hilarious, I think. See, I put this here, and I didn't. I put the cannon on the opposite side. What I didn't expect was the cannon to be picked up by the platform, but there you go. So it was. More tellies and fire for some reason. Just in case you somehow got in there backwards. And that, of course, leads to this little one up that you noticed earlier. Side note Fireman's weapon can burn the stuff off those guys. Since we've already seen the rest of the stage, I think we're done here. But, YouTube's been cutting off the last few, like, 12 seconds of my. Mega Man Powered Up videos recently, so treat yourselves to some dead air. This has been Shag. Have fun.